Here we go. Coming. Right behind you. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Ah, another one of these. Thought we were gonna have to like insert our stress toy. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. Hmm. Honestly, it's just impressive these things have lasted as long as they have. Oh. What the hell? That's a big old game. Now that's what I'm talking about. Once I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just um, taking it all in. Yeah. I was starting to like think maybe it wasn't directly a gate because that looks like water would flow down that way in a, maybe another giant contraption. And it could still happen, although the water's kind of stopped now, so maybe, maybe not. Anyways, into the dark, spooky forest where Asav could have flown in by helicopter because, God, is this not hidden. Like, at all. Also, oh. Holy hell. Those are some impressive statues. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place. The task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Huh. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower? Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? Yeah. Come on. Oh. Poor Chloe. Well, well, we might not get resolution with her dad specifically. I believe it's real. Imagine what it took. We're to still here. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah, their work still stands, but they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. Maybe Literally. the king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. <laughs> yeah, we could say that about a lot of these people. Every single treasure we find, there's a bad story behind it. Look at these people, capable of engineering creative contraptions that span entire areas, but not able to last for more than a couple hundred years before getting annihilated. Well, that's what they get for having supernatural treasures. Or just being rich, I suppose. <laughs> um... There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, one of these ways has to lead out. Oh. What's left of them anyway? I heard that slight ring. Knew there was something for me to check out. Any thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? I left it at home. Um, then I guess we're climbing. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be some nice designated positions for us to conveniently climb up with all of the erosion and stuff like that. Over here. We can swing across. I was here okay. first. Ready? 
Yeah, yeah, let me go first. Uh, it's cheeky, Nadine. That is cheeky. Ooh, there's a treasure. I'm assuming I have to go up here. Or down? Okay, I gotta go down. Okay, where to now? Look for a way up. Maybe. Hold on. I think the treasure's up there, but I don't know how to get up there. Because I've never been to this area before. Nadine stopped on the path to the right. So I think the path on the right is the correct way to go. Oh, picture. You can see some structures beneath the falls. You're right. Which structures? She just kind of took a general picture. I was not sure, but the statue's pretty big. So ah, here we go. So she could refer. She she could be referring to quite a lot. Up we go then. It's for the treasure. It's gonna be a good one. I'm always disappointed when you find a treasure and it's like just a box. Okay. It's a sure damn nice looking box, but it's still just a box, you know? I want real treasure. They're even more impressive up close. Yeah. I'm about to get closer. Alright. I guess this is a, a way across, but I want the treasure. Ooh, it keeps ringing on my bracelet. Is it down here? What the fuck? I keep hearing it, but I don't see it! Uh, well, it looks like this leads both ways. We didn't actually have to commit too much of anything. Alright. Where is that treasure? Oh, it's right here. I just didn't see it glinting. What is this? Engraved Uyur. Uyur, Uyur. I've never seen that word in my life. Uyur. <laughs> it just makes me think of someone going like, Ew, but like, like more. Uyur, ugh. That is most ew, thank you very much. But it's more than likely legitimate terminology, so, uh... I get to make a fool of myself by being ignorant for ways to probably call, like, a jug of water or some shit. Oh, oh my god. I thought we were going for, like, the fucking thumb. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I missed hardcore. Uh, glad the erosion made these flat. Come on, this way. Good for us. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. <laughs> oh, oh my shit! Oh, oh, oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Okay, what am I doing here? Branch? <laughs> Branch. Hold on now. This is gonna get me killed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the perspective was making it kind of wonky. I didn't know if I was about to just like attempt jumping or if I was gonna try and swing around. Yeah, I've got you. Oh, thank you. You're so kind and nice. Manage. Just accept my help. Fine. Hold up. Oop. Yay! On, We've built up a bond. Only because you said please. I didn't actually. What you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. <laughs> He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and not chosen for Hanover Duke? He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's oh. really cool. He's got a lot going on for him. <laughs> but really he's yep. obviously an important figure. Oh no. Who even having fun out there? You know it. Who even put all this rope out here? Again. Rope didn't just sit on a tree. Multiple trees for hundreds of years. Someone had to have been here. Amazing. Alright. Fun, right? That was the craziest thing I've ever done. Really? I'll let you know. 
I'm sure she's done some pretty crazy stuff. She ran a mercenary group. But I guess flinging yourself across a massive fall like this isn't so good. Oh, hey! Maybe those are the structures she was talking about. I mean, there's clearly a set of stairs, like, right there. Right there. So maybe we gotta turn off the water or something. Oh, more, more swinging fun! Maybe I should put away the gun. I pulled it out just so I could look at the thing, but, uh... Doing great, we're determined. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the car. Surprised we haven't seen the Sav yet. Knock on wood. Why he's around? Doubt we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have a stone to climb this high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what am I doing wrong here? Ah, here we go. He could still take a helicopter. I mean, legitimately, this is not that well hidden. I could, I could suspend my disbelief in that, like, a satellite didn't magically see two giant elephant statue things in the middle of a jungle. Fine, whatever. But, like, coming over here? Asad didn't come over here on, like... Like, by driving or on foot. Planes or helicopters had to have flown over at some point. At least if he has any worth to his, uh... To his villain credibility. Well, oh well. What are we doing here? Up? Huh, up. Sorry, the edge wasn't so finely white in comparison to all the other edges, so... I was like, oh, it's mossy, we can't climb up there. <laughs> it's not clean enough! I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Fun! Huh? Oh boy, oh! not as fun! Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb! I'm slipping! <laughs> oh boy, I'll just go ahead and get off your back. Those are some powerful arms you got there, Nadine. Perfect for punching people in the face. Ugh. Worth it? Impressive. Oh. How do we get off this thing? Rope. Oh, I have control. <laughs> that was that was a really smooth transition. Okay. Easy does it. Huh? Yeah. Oof, god gosh, okay. <laughs> Slammed myself against the wall, but we can make it. Glad Nadine waits before trying to make the jump. Wait, what? Damn. She's got huge fucking stones. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Holy shit, she just made the hop. Didn't bother with the other rope. Uh, I wonder if I could have done that. You have like some speed run paths being shown to us sometimes by her. She takes the fastest route. I kind of just go with what I see. Oh boy. Is our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. And... Big giant explosion <laughs> hole! Whoop! Oh. Music's getting spooky. Why is that? Wow. Nice shot. Oh. The Persians must have had a trebuchet. Nice. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Why were you looking up trebuchets? <laughs> you know, that doesn't make you that normal. But thank you for the, the, the lesson we learned from each other. Oh, yes. Let us slink into the hole. Ready? After you. Oh, boy. This looks Incredible. fun. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. 
<laughs> well, I mean, they obviously dedicated a huge statue to him, so I think I think Ganesh will probably come in on top. All right, I hear water below us, and there's apparently a rope thing here, so good for that. More descending. It's for safety reasons. Did they just carve this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. Yep, probably took them hundreds of years. Just so they could brag about it. Although I guess maybe they'd want to keep some of it a little on the more secret side. Bidri hookah bowl. Oh, this isn't the bottom of it. Ah. I was wondering that because beforehand we got an item and it was at the very bottom of the list, but it's actually we're halfway up the scrolling bar. So there's a ton of treasures in this game. Hmm. That is a nice shot. Perfect lighting too. This phone is impressive. She's not even like putting in a watertight pouch or anything. So we're just swimming with it. I mean, I, yeah, we have a lot of waterproof phones nowadays, but it's going through some wear and tear. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Oh, they just never thought they'd be defeated. Yep, they got cocky. Kind of happens when you decide to spend all your resources on carving mountains, making giant statues and elaborate contraptions just to open up those gates and statues. But I wonder what a modern civilization would do with that kind of, uh... That kind of ego. Yeah, we can make cities and stuff, but we don't really make anything super crazy and gigantic like this. I want to see more. I want to see more from civilization. Through here, right behind you. But hey, armaments. You were right, Nadine. For a better purpose. Okay. Ah, uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Or the last. A lot of people dying here. Jeez. Is they collapsing from time? Or the Persians that rough with this place? Ugh. Now we're getting somewhere. There's a whole lot of bodies. Golly. Alright. There's a treasure. Ah. Hidden away over here. What is this? Gold cased ivory dentures. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe not one of the treasures I'm looking for. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Whoa. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. It kind of is at this point. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Yeah. Kind of just bled out all over the place. Sometimes there's hardly le anything left to cremate. I can't leave the people who have like a lot more armor on that you can just see. Good for them. Still clothed after all this time. Okay. Well, this is obviously going to lead to something important. Hey, up here. Oh. Oh gosh. Ugh. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire, but their loss is our gain. Obviously, the Persians didn't get far enough to get the the tusk of Ganesh, so that's good. Look at this drama queen. <laughs> I will die holding our flag. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Represent your army. Whichever one he was, more than likely the Persians. Oh, did they die trying to open this up? 
Uh, this is gross. Move the bodies, get all on through. Can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. There we go. Uh. Yeah, I need you to get out of the way, too. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. <laughs> that was rough. Hopefully closer than these guys. Oh, so this isn't even it yet? Just a lot of people died in that hallway, but they still kept pushing on! God damn. This must have been a hell of a battle. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Ooh. Big giant puzzle room? I mean, look at this thing. Maybe we'll turn on the water. Spin the puzzle piece! Whoa. Oh, well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. <laughs> Come on, let's see about opening that door. Alright, so obviously we gotta match the shadows so with the, uh, uh, the place. Only one way to find out. With the place that it represents. That's let's easy. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Oh, it's one of these kinds of puzzles. It's a tile puzzle, but not a tile puzzle. God, no. Okay. Here's what we That's need to do. Oh, that put it all the way over there? Shoot, this super is a tile puzzle. Okay. Well, I need it to go all the way over here. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. You gotta be kidding me. These these have shadows for the different pieces in the back as well. Oh no. All right, so we got one matched up. We gotta do something about this. So that one needs to be on the left. So I need to slide it downwards. Okay, here's what we gotta do. We're actually gonna move this back this way. And we gotta use the other pieces to maneuver things around. Okay. I'm going a really roundabout way about this. Okay, so what is this one? This one is the tusk, but also the axe. So that actually has to be in the middle. I see. So I need to have this go that way. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. We got this. Big axe thing. If I slide you this way, you'll be in a worse off position, but that's fine because I'm not using you for that. I'm using you for this. Block that off. Okay. Now we have a problem. <laughs> now we have a problem. Uh, I need to slide the middle piece to the right. I didn't think some of this through, but it's trial and error. The point of that is that I'm trying to get the lady, or uh, Shiva, who I guess is also a he, uh, all the way to the left over here. And then, I gotta get the axe back to the middle, but the problem is if I do that, we're gonna be in a bad position for some of this. Shoot. I don't want to move this thing, but I might have to. 
All right, first off, we're gonna move this to the left. See, look at that. It's getting there! I just have to swap two of the pieces around. All right. So by the looks of the shadow of Ganesh, Ganesh is in the is in the furthest or is going to be in the furthest position on the back side over here. So I need to make it go right and then move that forward and then we have the puzzle solved. Here's what I think we're gonna have to do. We're gonna slide this forward. Then slide this back. Because we can make this very easily go back to the same position if we go around about way. Alright. So what was the purpose of me doing that? To do this. Slide this back. <laughs> I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. And then... We can just do this. To get some stuff into position. Okay. Okay. Mm Nope. Shut it, Nadine. I know what I'm about. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay. So... The statue in the middle... ...represents... Hold on. I think... Yeah, this should be fine, right? Let's tilt it back. And then they match up. Great! Now all I have to do is get the... Axe in the middle. Shit. That's all I gotta do. Get the axe in the middle and it'll match up. To fix things for us. Okay. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. All I have to do is tilt things around a little bit. But I'll listen to Nadine because I just want to hear what she's gonna say. Uh, can you help me? You need to move the pieces so the shadows are Wow, obvious. The left side should be Shiva, X, and Parashurama. The right side should be Parashurama, Tusk, and Ganesh. Got it. Okay. Now I gotta get you to the middle. How was I gonna go about this? Which piece goes in the middle, then move the other pieces in the outer ring. All right, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I, I, I got it. I think. So, shoot. We're getting there. We're so close. I just need to get the axe into the middle. And I think I think I have to shift this around for that. I lost my train of thought as to what I was trying to do before. So now I got to compensate for that a bit. Okay. Now, we tilt this a little bit to the side. Do the same with this. And I'll bring both pieces into the middle, which is where we need them. Okay. And then I just do this. Wait. No, that's wrong! Oh no! Oh no! I fucked up. I thought I had it, but I was actually wrong. We were re really fucking close though. So I need this to actually be... in the middle? For the axe piece. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think this should give it to us. I think that's it. You did it. Doors open. Yeah, not any. You're welcome. 
welcome. <laughs> I could have actually completely done that one. I, I didn't actually really listen to much of what she said. She gave us the straight up answers with things, but I was just matching the shadows. And then uh, eyeballing it. Salah and the tiger. And do we have another puzzle thing here? Here we go. Oh. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Ooh. Wow, that is intricate. Amazing. What a shaver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. Hold your horses, Nadine. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva is the symbol of... Below. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. Ooh, I'm clever. To bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Oh. 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 Oh boy! Well, sometimes old contraptions fall apart. I'm okay. Go. This is why you don't, you know, use elevators in emergencies. Sometimes it gets worse. Oh gosh. Maybe I should just grow. Oh no! Nope, never mind. Wow. Never mind. Oh shit! Now what do I do? Ah, I flip around to the other side. Oh, I was gonna try and grab the chain, but every chain keeps breaking. Oh. I think this is gonna attract a lot of attention! Whoa, jeez. I think this just goes to show you water can be even more dangerous than fire, right? Uh-oh. Gotta go fast! Ah. I like that Nadine still try to hold her hand out for us. Is this where we get ambushed? You all right? I'm an enemy still alive. Oh. Raw talent and a little bit of luck. Oh. Hey, nice work, partner. Nice work. Put it there. Jesus, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Wasn't there a huge waterfall here? Ooh. It was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. The water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. That's all right. 
You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> No, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. All right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So I guess ah. Balur has to be the city, or has to be through that area down there. That's just my assumption, though. I think it was mentioned Balur being built upon before, but it's been like a week since I heard all that stuff, so I actually don't really fully remember. Oh boy! Yeah, this was an accident! Nothing. Oh boy. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. Do you think the soldiers knew they were being used as people? Honestly, it's not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are they here for? They're here for a different purpose. Entirely. He just wants a tusk. Actually, I don't know if he's told them that or not. Also, what did we go hunting for Marco Polo's treasure at some point? Uh oh. Check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Right. Didn't give it up you easily. Left. I take right. Yeah, I remember. <gasps> what the? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey. Master, probably more where that came from. Right. I wanted to take out the guy in the right. I should have been faster. <laughs> I should have just gone immediately. 